In the last episode of Electric Eats the World, I took down some of the most iconic foods that Las Vegas had to offer all in one day. There's a brush shrimp scampi I've ever had in my life. I even set the record for this giant burger challenge. 1248. In this episode of Electric Eats the World, I'm back for another day of calorie carnage. This time, I'm in Los Angeles taking down some of the most iconic food in the city, including this massive barbecue challenge, with a $300 prize to anyone who can finish it. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, but more importantly, welcome back to the third episode of Electric Eats the World. If you're new to the Electric Eats the World series, each episode takes place in a completely different city. And in every episode, I travel around to all of the most popular and the most well-known food spots. And at the very end, I attempt a food challenge. In this video, I'm going to be traveling around to some of the best places in LA, and I'm gonna be attempting one of the most difficult food challenges in the area. That being said, everyone, it's about 7.30 in the morning right now, so, Without further ado, everybody, it's time to get the day officially started. All right, everybody, after eight and a half miles on the treadmill, 45 minutes of lifting, it's time to head to our first destination, Fratelli Cafe. I've heard very, very good things about this place. They serve delicious French toast, a bunch of other amazing things as well. If you guys have watched me for a while, you'll know I love breakfast food, so I'm very excited about this. And we're here at Fratelli Cafe. It's time to get today officially started. So your croissant French toast is your... That's what we're known for. That's yeah. what you're known That's for? That's like definitely the croissant French toast, the biscuit Benny. What's uh, a biscuit Benny? It's basically like one biscuit open face with like fried chicken on both sides. I'm definitely gonna get the French toast, the chocolate crepe, the Nutella banana waffle, eggs Benedict. Let's try breakfast tacos. Okay, uh, sure, let's go with that. Do you guys have skillets? I have a bacon hash and a steak hash. The steak hash is really, really good. Done. And that was how many items? Six meals, a water, and a coffee. Is that enough for one person? Uh, <laughs> thank you. That's the croissant French toast, chocolate crepe. Sweet, thank you. Ooh, that looks good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Beautiful. This is the steak hash. Okay. And then this is the green eggs and bent. Sweet, those look good. What else do you need? Uh, just a glass of orange juice, if that's possible. Thank you so much. All right, everybody, so we have meal number one right here. I am very excited about this. So we have their signature French toast right here, and then their Nutella waffles right there. That's looking good. And then their Eggs Benedict breakfast skillet, and then they have breakfast tacos here, which are super good. And then I had to get a crepe. These crepes are amazing. And they got some OJ to the side. So it is about 9.50 right now. Without further ado, this is meal number one. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with their breakfast tacos first. Let's get this started in three, two, and one. That's good. All right, breakfast tacos are down. Super good. I would give those a, I'd give those an eight out of 10. Oh, and these potatoes are crispy too. Mm. All right, tacos are down. Super good so far. Now I think I'm gonna get on over to this Eggs Benedict right here. We got tons of bacon on this. Ooh. All right, so the eggs Benedict is down. That was fire. Now it's time to head to their signature croissant French toast right here. That's fire. It's pretty crazy because their French toast is literally a croissant. Like, talk about innovation right there. All right, now, I'm trying to try out this breakfast skillet right here. I'm not sure what's in here, but it's got a lot of sauce and cheese on it. Look at that, look at that. Boom. Man, that's good. Right, that breakfast skillet was absolutely amazing. Everything's been so good so far. 
Next, I'm gonna get into this crepe. This is a Nutella crepe of some sort. Can't forget the strawberry. We gotta get our fruit in today. Bro. Mm. Crepe is absolutely amazing too. Everything's been super good. Now, the thing I'm most excited about, I think this is their Gone Bananas waffle. So meal number one is complete here for Telly's Cafe. That was absolutely amazing. Now everyone, it's time to get on with the rest of the day. Obviously, I hated it. Yeah, I Obviously. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Off to a great start, everyone. That was absolutely amazing. If you're ever in LA, be sure to check out for Telly Cafe. They make amazing food here on Melrose. Super good. I gotta say my favorite thing was their signature croissant French toast that was so good. Oh, amazing. Now everyone, it's time to get on with the rest of the day. I have a big food challenge planned tonight, but regardless of that, I'm in LA. There's a ton of great food spots, so it's time to crush some more food. All right, everybody, it's about time for lunch. The next spot, or should I say the next few spots, I'm very excited about because they're some of the most iconic spots in Los Angeles. The first place I'm gonna be going to is a place called Joe's Pizza. They have delicious pepperoni slices, cheese slices, and after that, I'm gonna be grabbing food from a few other places. I'm gonna do one of your, a slice of your white, and then a slice of pepperoni, and then two cannolis, and then a, a medium Diet Coke, please. Can I get a bacon burrito dog? And then uh, the Lord of the Rings dog, please? Have a good one. Lunch time. <sighs> All right, everybody, it is time for lunch. Oh man, I am so excited for this. Instead of going to each individual restaurant, I decided to get everything and just bring it back to my hotel room. So much easier that way and much less noisy. So yeah. Anyways, everybody, I have quite the lunch here for meal number two. I have the world famous Pink's hot dogs right here. I am so excited to try these out. I've heard such good things about Pink's hot dogs. Normally, I'm not a huge hot dog fan, but I'm in LA and there's a ton of different variations that they do with their hot dogs, so I'm excited for that. I also have some delicious Joe's pizza right here. I got their classic pepperoni slice and their classic white pizza slice. That's looking good as well, and I just had to do it. It's probably gonna be a horrible decision before the challenge tonight, but I got some cannolis. Had to get some sweetness up in there. And then the restaurant that I'm most looking forward to trying out is Monty's Good Burger. I got their chicken sandwich and I got their cheeseburger right here. And then I got some of their loaded maxed out fries. I am super excited for this. This is kind of a lot of food. I have a massive barbecue challenge tonight. Oh well. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories for all of this right up there and total macros will be right up there as well. Without further ado, everyone, this is meal number two. I think I want to start with this pink hot dog first. This is looking absolutely crazy. This is called the Lord of the Rings dog right here. All right, everybody. Three, two, and one. I don't even know how I bought into this. There's so much going on in my mouth right now. Now we have a bacon burrito dog. Basically what they do here is they get two hot dogs and they wrap them in bacon, throw some cheese and chili in there, and then you have yourself a bacon hot dog, just like so. Thanks is down. That gets my seal of approval. Now I think I'm gonna head on over to Joe's Pizza over here. Now there are two types of people in this world, all right? People that love New York style pizza and people that love Chicago style deep dish pizza. I need to know down below in the comments, which one are you? <clears throat> Can't go wrong with pepperoni, but now this is their white pizza. I think this is like a garlic infused pizza. Yes, it is. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. All right, 
pizzas down. Oh man, those cannolis. If you've never had a cannoli before, let me just tell you, they are absolutely out of this world. That was absolutely amazing. Now, I think I'm gonna get into the famous Monty's burgers right here. And I just gotta give some kudos, first of all, to Monty's because I'm an idiot. I actually placed my order at the wrong location and they went ahead and remade my order at the location that I went to, all right? So kudos to Monty's. Fun fact about Monty's, they're completely 100% vegan. I gotta show some love to all the vegans out there that watch me, all right? Vegan food's amazing too, everybody. Whoa. Absolutely out of this world. Just so much love for Monty's burgers right here. Wow. Now we have their single cheeseburger right here. We have it with some of their ranch. You guys know I'm a ranch guy. I gotta see what this, this vegan ranch is all about. See if it tastes like the real thing. Now it's time for me to get to these maxed out fries. No, nope, there's no fork in here. I guess I just gotta go about this like a savage. Oh man. I'm so gonna regret all this tomorrow, but I will. Mm. All right, everybody, just like that. Okay, that's gonna do it for meal number two. I know I have a little bit of these fries left, but there's one more spot that I wanna hit before my giant food challenge tonight. And those fries just probably aren't gonna settle the best, so maybe I'll have them for my uh, midnight snack tonight. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories. You can see them so far right up there. Total macros will be right up there as well. Now everyone, believe it or not, it's time for my pre-food challenge snack, which really shouldn't even be happening, but you guys know. I love my sweets. I'm gonna do the cruffin, then a croissant style chocolate, and then I'm gonna do an apple fritter. I'll do a Boston cream, s'mores. Yeah, I'll do an ube. And I'll do an original uh, croissant style. Have a good one. All right, everybody, so I have my donuts right here. I had to go grab some donuts before the big challenge tonight. We have a variety of cronuts and actual donuts from a place called Kettle and Glazed here in Los Angeles, and I'm very excited about these, all right? We have all sorts of donuts, including this, which is a donut and a muffin, and I think they called it a duffin, or was it a Mona? I don't even know. I'm gonna do the cruffin. But I'm about to find out here in just a few seconds how it's gonna taste. It is currently 150. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories for everything right up there and total macros will be right up there as well. Without further ado, everybody, let's get into these donuts. Before I do though, gotta get some soda. In my I Heart Carbs cup that's been, well, a little destroyed. Okay, so my bad earlier. This is actually called a cruffin, just in case you all wanted to know. But will these be good? Let's find out. I think I'm gonna start with the cruffin first. Let's get into it. Oh my goodness, cruffins. That's one of the best things I've ever had. Oh my goodness. That was gonna get a W. Oh. That was absolutely amazing. Now it's time to try their original sprinkle. Not bad. Boston cream. Now this is their original croissant and they fill these with fresh vanilla icing every time you order one. Now that's pretty crazy. Check that out. Man, that is unreal. This is the Ubi Donut, Oob. I don't even know how you say it, but it's like colored on the inside. I don't really know how to place that flavor, but it's good. Alright everybody, well, now we have 
have the biggest donut, which I'm looking forward to the most, the apple fritter. Before I do get into this though, if you're enjoying the video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button and the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And be sure to comment down below where you want me to go for the next Electric Eats of the World. It just may be in a city near you. Anyways, here we go. Oh man, there's a tasty apple fritter. Just like that, everybody. That has been meal number three. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories consumed so far up there. So our macros will be up there as well. Everything's been delicious so far. Absolutely amazing. But I really hope I didn't go too overboard because I have a massive barbecue challenge planned for tonight. I haven't done a barbecue challenge in a long, long time. Yeah, I'm actually feeling pretty full right now. So who knows what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take a bit of a power nap and I'll see you all in just a few seconds. All right, everybody, after a power nap, it's now time for the food challenge. The food challenge for this episode of Electric Eats the World is gonna take place at All American Barbecue. This challenge is a massive barbecue platter with a $300 jackpot. I have to eat one whole chicken, four baby back ribs, a quarter pound of sausage, a quarter pound of tri-tip, and a quarter pound of pulled pork. I also have to eat three sides, a pint of mac and cheese, a pint of baked beans, and a pint of mashed potatoes. Oh, and two sides of cornbread. Everyone, I have no idea how I'm gonna do in this challenge because your boy is feeling it right now. But regardless, I'm gonna give this one my best shot. Let's go eat some barbecue. All right, everybody, I'm here at All American Barbecue. This food challenge is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Let's see what this challenge looks like. Arby's, it's time to move aside because All American Barbecue is really the place with all the meats. Heavy protein challenges are difficult enough, but when you have 15,000 plus calories of food already sitting in your stomach, the challenge becomes almost impossible. With a 90% failure rate, this barbecue challenge isn't for the faint of heart. My strategy for this is simple. Leave the sides for last and attack the protein first. I may be full, but when there's $300 on the line, you better believe I am not going down without a fight. All right, everybody, so we have the All-American Barbecue Challenge right here. One whole chicken on top, four baby back ribs, quarter pound of tri-tip, a quarter pound of pulled pork. We have mac and cheese, beans, and then two muffins, cornbread muffins hanging out over here. And then they also have mashed potatoes as well, but I decided to substitute that for some French fries. So that's gonna be good. I also have a side of ranch and some Diet Coke. I have one hour to complete this. Half an hour, get the food money back. Okay, in, in half an hour, I get the food and money back. Okay, what's the fastest time for it? 18 minutes? Yeah, 17 something, 18. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to enjoy this one or just go at it as fast as I can. But regardless, I'm gonna give this one my best shot. Without further ado, this is the All-American Barbecue Challenge. Let's do this. All right, everybody, it's time to get this challenge started in three, two, and one. Boom. Amazing. All right, everybody, so we are two minutes in. So far, it's going absolutely amazing. All right, the chicken is all done. It's time to head on over to the thing I'm most excited about, the baby back ribs right here. Check that out, those ribs look absolutely amazing. Mmm, so good. All right, the ribs are down. We are seven minutes and 24 seconds in. Now it's time for the hot links. Those have a kick. Whew. All right, the hot links are down. Spicy, but very flavorful. Right, tri-tip time. That is looking super good. Thank you. All right, everybody, the tri-tip's down. Now we gotta work the sides. Probably should have went with mashed potatoes. These look a lot denser than I thought they would look. Boom. Uh, 
the hip to 15 minute marker. It's exactly how I learned it. Alrighty, well, the fries are down. Now we have the mac and cheese, the cornbread, and the beans left. Let's get into it. Mac and cheese. <clears throat> mac and cheese is thick. Real cheese. Ooh. And I can stuff. <clears throat> All right, the mac and cheese is down, everybody. Oh man, the best for last. The best for last. Ooh. All right, beans, beans, the magical fruit. Those are good. We're 21 and a half minutes in. We try to get down and under the 30 mark. Ooh. All right, everybody, while the beans are down, the only thing that stands in my way for victory tonight are these two massive cornbread pieces. Whew, man, I got some serious meat sweats going on right now. Oh, six minutes left. Mm. That's 25 minute marker. All right, everybody, we are 27 minutes in, and unfortunately, I'm just so full. I don't think I can carry on anymore. Yeah, it's just... I'm just... We got 28, done? 28, yep, 28, 19. guys. Woo! All right, so 28 minutes, 19 seconds. The All-American Barbecue Challenge has been completed. Um, I gotta say my favorite part of that was definitely those baby back ribs. Those were so good. Those are some of the best baby back ribs I've ever had in my life. If you're ever here in Los Angeles, you all need to come to All-American Barbecue. Maybe not try this challenge, but definitely have a meal here. Amazing food, amazing people. Oh man, I'm gonna need a nap. One, two, and three. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Enjoy. It. Thank you so much. Enjoy that ride back. All right, everybody, that is going to be the end of this episode of Electric Eats the World. It would mean the absolute world to me if you guys gave the video a like and dropped a comment down below. It helps keep me motivated to do videos just like this. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to go ahead and put the last episode of Electric Eats the World right up there for you all to enjoy just in case you missed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next food challenge.